Yeah, I love that mission of just trying to do good. And, you know, it's, I, I think generally just a good practice in life, like do good things. You know, everyone kind of knows the right things to do. Uh, it's more just a matter of, are you willing and able and, you know, spending your time trying to do those, those right actions. Um, you mentioned, you know, some mistakes uh, as you started the project and, and some things as you've kind of made the journey from, you know, launching to a $3 million market cap down to 50. And then now back to, I think you said about 120 K. Um, how, what were some of the biggest mistakes you made and, and what did you uh, learn from those and, and how are you applying it kind of in real time? Yeah. So I fired off marketing at a bunch of big callers um, before we had built a really strong community. And that's something where if you have a community, I hate the word cult like because cults are seen as crazy people. But if you have the community, a community that has that cult like mentality where they're going to hold and they believe in the project long term and they have that conviction then you're not gonna have people swinging charts. And when we got some of these, these bigger influencers or callers in early, they didn't bring in people who had that same mentality that we did. They were just chasing green candles. And when you chase green candles, you know, again, especially before mass adoption is here, uh, it's an easy way to get wrecked. And we definitely had some people selling irresponsibly. Um, again, we had some arguments between team members and some of the team members full clipped out and what I would say, if I had to do it again, I would do what we're doing now, which is more organic growth, get the community strong, make sure everybody has conviction, and then spend the money on marketing. Um, that would be my, my biggest learning lesson. Uh, also, choosing who to trust is so important, and it's, it's crypto Twitter, right? It's crypto Twitter, it's crypto Telegram, it's strangers on the internet, and there's people that you'll resonate with that you met, you know, a day or two ago that will end up completely screwing you over. And that trust is something that's built over time. So I would definitely have narrowed my circle of who I brought into the project early. Um, and I think, I think this is pretty common. You know, I talk to a lot of developers and project owners who, who sort of have learned the same lessons. And the good news is we're all getting better. And, and that's all you can do in any aspect of life is try to get a little bit better every day. And in everything, you either win or you learn. And I feel like uh, we've had a lot of wins and we've had a lot of learns. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I like the perspective, wins and learns. And, uh, you know, especially in a space as fast moving as this, you're, you're going to be making mistakes and it's impossible to get everything right. So, um, yeah, I definitely like that perspective and just being willing to kind of put yourself out there, do different things and see what works, see what doesn't. And then, you know, obviously learn and, and evolve your approach as you, as you go. And 